Hello everyone. Uh, today is uh, December 26, 2022. It's actually um, Monday and it's a holiday. So uh, end of the year um, holidays. Hope you guys enjoy um, this um, day, these uh, days with your family and uh, very success and i hope that you have a very successful 2023 moving forward so um before i start let me remind you to subscribe to my channel uh, also check the links that are in the description of this uh, video um, discord and um, and also apex and top step for day trading uh, what i'm going to do today is to analyze uh, the uh, four major um, markets that I trade in um, in uh, for day trading. You you can see they are. Uh, let me see here. Um, right here is where I have I have them here. If you if you see the um, the cursor right here in this area is where I'm gonna click the, the market. So in this area here, I am showing the monthly and then the weeklies over here, and then uh, dailies and 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna focus is ba mainly on the on the weeklies today, just because we're in the middle of the uh, of the um, month or finishing the month, but this candle here has not finished yet. So let's uh, review it since we have um, the weeklies um, already closed. Let's review what's going on there. So uh, let's start with ES. So you have a previous week, you saw a very big uh, topping tail right here. Let's uh, uh, go and maximize this. Uh, so we can see the weeklies and uh, the context on this one is that we are in a downtrend as you see there are um there are in this area this is the top and then you have a lower high and then another lower high and then an another lower high and then you have here a a low uh there was th this is also a a uh, a pivot so you have this uh low here another low big tails uh to the downs uh, or or moving um or or bottoming tails that are moving towards uh, the the um the upside um so market started uh, started up here moved down and then moved up and this is uh, this is a signal or of strength in the market and then you see how the market moved up here then made another lower uh, low and another lower low and then um you know i saw that this uh, this uh channel um started to form uh this one here i meant they want uh, that it's um point out by this by by those uh, uh two levels so uh, you see that uh, when i when i saw that i i marked it there and sure enough uh the there was another lower lower low in this area and then a lower high there so my biases is still to the downside um in the weeklies uh, you have here a doji so this formation here where you have um, you know something like this a a uh, topping tail right there and then a um, bottoming tail and then you have similar openings and, and close you see that uh, in this case the ES um, uh, it's very an, an, an undecisive uh, uh, um, candle that uh, you know um, it ranged through the week right there so moved up it didn't move uh, it moved up and down but it's especially it's specifically open and close around the same level so um, the bias for me on this one it's uh, basically to the downside just because of this uh, channel and then um, and then also if you paint one of these um, um, of this uh, a support line here, uh, you see that it was broken. So it tried to break into the into the positive side, found some resistance at this uh, pivot, and then came back down. So um, so actually, I'm my bias in the weekly is bearish on ES. Let's um, see the 
uh, dailies. So on the dailies, what we have is, uh, you know, um, that that is a topping tail you saw in in uh, rejecting that uh, that weekly, and then um, the the uh, weekly came here and started around this area, moved up, moved down, um, and then closed at this level. So that is basically the doji that you saw the last uh, four to five days. Um, there is some resistance here, though. I mean, so, some support here. Um, you see that that uh, topping tail that uh, that was uh, uh, formed right uh, the the bottoming tail that was um, formed here. So this one, these uh, weeks are actually um, you know uh, bullish. Uh, market was rejected here and the next day kind of like a move move to the upside now we're below the moving averages here so still um in the dailies i'm uh, leaning towards the downside so my bias is still to the downside um uh, it could go a little bit up face this uh this um actually actually it could go all the way up um i the, the probabilities are telling me that uh, that are not but uh, you have here a channel that it's moving to the upside right here in the dailies um still we are uh, this is the first uh, day of the uh month right here and you have um this level here and that level there uh, which is the first day or a opening range and so we are below that and you know for that reason i'm still down market has moved significantly to the downside uh, since this uh, tops here um, i'm gonna give a little bit of more uh, room so this in this one year yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it in one year so uh, you know this high of the year was 4808.25 and then moved all the way down to 4100 uh, even less now it's uh, 3850 3856 so it's moving down um, so you you can you can tell that through this year hasn't been very very positive but the, it has had had some nice runs there um, you see that uh, in the uh, MACD, which is a momentum indicator, you see that uh, you know it's still red. Uh, there is a, um, a low here, a bottom low. Then there was uh, a lower low right there, and an, an even a lower low right there. So uh, momentum is not very promising. It's moving up a little bit in this uh, direction here now but uh, but still for me it's uh, it's uh, it hasn't moved to the up to the upside there um, so ES on the dailies um, and my bias is uh, to the downside now let's review uh, it, you know similar to the to the ES we do have the SPY so the SPY um, it's a cash market on this one not future so what I'm uh, what uh, I'm gonna show you here is another indicator that it's the SPY market forecast and then you see that uh, we are um, this indicator here is showing us that we are in in an area that could be oversold uh, considered oversold I think that there's a still more um, you know space to go in this indicator um, and um, and we are below the moving averages uh, right here as well as I said before so um, you know the the money flow is still negative so everything to me points out still that that um, that uh, it market could go lower uh, when this when this one uh, this indicator moves to the upside like in this case here that uh, in this area here you see that uh, start moving to the uh, to the open to the to the uh, upside then we can have a a, a run there uh, it has not indicated that yet for me this is negative it started to, uh, to be negative right here when it crossed the 80 line and then try to recover a little bit on this uh, in this area here but then immediately went down um, right there so and with the with this indicator 
So yeah, that, that would be SPY. Um, let's uh, check uh, NQ, similar behavior. Uh, let me go back to the uh, 15 minutes there and then make sure that I'm selecting NQ. Um, NQ has a similar behavior here. We are, you know, touching the lows already passed in the monthlies, the 50% retracement on the Fibonacci right there. So from this uh, low to this, uh, to this top high, and then it started to move down. You have the 50% found some resistance here, you know, middle of the, um, of, uh, the year and then moved up, but basically has been, you know, moving, um, uh, in the in the second part of the year has been moving up and down in this range but uh you know december has been moving down so far we will see how that uh, last candle um, um finishes but uh, it seems that it's going to finish to the downside and we'll see what is going to be the the next week of this month so um or the last week of this month um in the um uh, weeklies let me expand this one for you guys so in the weeklies I do have uh, I'm gonna remove this um, these uh, drawings here and then on the weeklies you see that there's a, a, a level up here uh, and I'm gonna put another one there formed by the top intel very similar to to what we saw in ES um, um, I'm gonna just point out the um, the lower highs right here so this one here this one here that one there this one is definitely a, p a pivot already formed by um, you know this this uh, candle right here uh, that one is a is is a is a pivot, but then this one it's a, try to to break it to the upside and then make a, a big topping tail and then move to the downside. So um, yeah, uh, uh, this is um, this is forming here a lower low, lower low, lower low, and lower low. Uh, another lower low here, and then if this uh, if if the trend continues you see that it could you know resolve to the downside right there um in in this uh you know channel as well so you see that there is a channel up here and up there okay so um in the weekly is still i'm uh, leaning towards um, uh, you know more probability that uh, the market is going to resolve to the downside um now in the in the uh, dailies we are as we were in in ES, we are in uh, inside this uh, daily um, daily or, or below the, the uh, daily opening range for the first day, and then uh, that that uh, repeating the, this uh, uh, failed uh, breakout to that uh, to that uh, level moved up and then came back down, and then big candles. Uh, to the downside so you have a big candle um, I would say right there uh, another big candle here and followed by regular size candles here so it's still to the downside in this uh, I would say that probably that so far it's channel you see how this one went down uh, and then it's been in a uh, channel uh, right there moving up down and then try to break in there but uh, there was a running on, on stop on this area and then came back down okay so that is NQ again if we paint a uh, fib retracement here which I'm gonna do now uh, you see that um, from this top to this bottom here it's uh, to this bottom here we actually you know hit a couple of times the 50% retracement and came back down um, in here forming I would say that uh, you you see that there's there are some um, you know um, 
there is some range in here and then move below the range so now if you size this this high here on this range to this one down and then you repeat it here we are kind of like extended but this one could go still to the downside so um, facing some support here uh, we'll see if it holds it uh, that same uh, doji uh, uh, candle formation there um, so we'll see it's a def you know undefined bias to the downside on uh, on NQ uh, let's review gold oh and then then you can you can probably I I don't know if I have it set up but you can check also the um, QQQ and a market forecast intermediate indicator which is this one here and you see that it's it's already at 21 um, you know I'm waiting for it to go and, and cross below that uh, that line uh, which is going to confirm you know um, even more the my bias to the downside so um, not that much volume if you if you pay attention to the volume right here last week uh, was actually below uh, average except for uh, Thursday but um, but it was um, uh, you know very very low volume right here we'll see how this uh, and uh, you know um, uh, this uh, week is going to be um, now I'm gonna go and and check uh, gold gold has been you know uh stubborn uh, let's put it that way let me go back um so uh, you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it here this one is is gold and then you see gold in the intermediate line also moving above this one is moving above the 80 and then this is has a bullish bias but you know uh, all move uh, uh, um, gold move made a, a nice move to the upside uh, right here and then and then made a retracement there forming that um, this um, um, uh, bull flag and then started to move to the upside but recently what uh, gold has been doing um probably the last uh you know since the beginning of of the month actually it's been within within the range you see that that um uh, range here um formed by the first candle of the day um, and then you see that you have the top right here and the bottom and price has been moving there very stubbornly and uh, and actually don't not doing anything during this month has been tough to to trade uh, uh, gold in the intraday as well you see that there's a big uh, there's a topping tail right there and and then a big candle moving to the other side and this is typical of our range market we'll see if they if, if it gains strength to go to the upside uh, we are already in the in in a in a in in the upper part of this range um what i'm so what i'm referring to is this let me paint it here for you so um so right there see there's a i, I could tell that it there's a channel uh, let me let me uh, change this uh, in it's a channel um, and then you see that there is uh, some plenty of rule to go to the downside uh, if we consider that channel hopefully it's not that confusing but uh, you know you see that it's been trying to break this upper side of the channel but has been failing so from here it could go um, you know down to this area and then move to the other to the other uh, side and then try to reach that level there or it could go um, down below there if this um, uh, indicator the MFC indicator uh, market forecast uh, move to the downside then that could could be another option we'll see how how it goes I do have an alert here so that one was for um, um, for um, 
Thursday so if it was uh, going I wanted an alert to, to see if, if it was going to move above this area it seems that we have an inside inside candle right there so um, yeah it's 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 uh, ranging um, it's ranging it's better to leave it alone for now okay so that's the daily for and let's uh, let's uh, check um, Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't check uh, the monthlies for NQ. So let's go back there right, for for e, for uh, gold. So in the monthlies, you see that there's a big uh, candle uh, or found the 50% and then bounce off of that uh, in that in uh, last month in in November. Now. It has been ranging, and you have this small little uh, candle on the month, on the monthly, and with that, with that, uh, so far with a topping tail, uh, not that big, but a topping tail uh, um, uh, in there. So it's been failing to break um, the moving average, which is the 30-month moving average uh, there. In the, the in the weeklies, you see I do have marked here that uh, that channel, but in the weekly you see that it's inside of this channel still and you have some really nice indecision here so you have a topping tail here the topping uh, a, a bottoming tail right there so dojis 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 so this one if if uh, uh, gold breaks uh, this channel i'm gonna paint another channel here actually uh, let me see i want to do it in, with a box so i'm gonna take the tops of this dojis right there there's two consecutive dojis there so i'm gonna paint it there and then that area is a no-no in the weeklies uh right in the middle of this uh, range uh from uh, from before so that one there so um we are actually in this area right here so we don't want to touch it um what we probably want to see is that one is this one come come down to the moving averages and then move again to the upside we'll see if we will see that but it's actually facing some resistance at the below the 50 percent retracement on um on the weeklies and uh, on the dailies, I think that we saw the dailies on the other chart as well. But let me let me go there and um, and see what we have in this one. It's probably the same, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat myself on this one. Channel, channel, channel. So far. Um, and then let's go and visit my friend um, uh, Crude in the in the monthlies. Cruz has been retracing from this $120 level here, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, see only the um, the uh, technicals. Um, you know, it, crude in the in the monthly has been relatively weak um, in here in the last four weeks. Uh, so we have this uh, in the last four months. Uh, this one here, um, you know, it has it month. The month has not uh, changed, but we have a um, you know large uh, body uh, candle doji, um, little bit more thicker that I would li like uh, for indecision. But it's an indecision um, um, candle as well. So. Um, expectation on this one, uh, you know, since we are already uh, facing this uh, this um, top right here, um, and then a retracement there, I would expect that this one would bounce in the next uh, um, in the ne in in the next month. Um, probably January uh, it's going to show us some signs of strength we, we will see not nothing nothing for sure yet has been rejected this uh, 50 uh, 60 68.7 and moved uh, above that uh, that uh, um, that support now and now it's uh, you know or this resistance and now support so we'll see how it goes uh, on the um weekly 
it's uh, expand the weekly is right here since it's already this week is already over so i have a fibonacci also from this low to that high came back down to the 50 percent and then started to move up um still below this um this trend line here and uh, forming also a lower high and uh, lower highs and lower lows so it's not out of the woods in the um, weeklies you see that there's a pivot right here um right there that one is a pivot and then you have another uh, I would say two candles another pivot right there and another pivot right there so actually uh, you have three pivots moving down and then in the in you have one pivot right there the, the the top high and then you have a lower high this one is not actually a pivot I need two candles uh, to the to the upside so this one could be yeah nah, yeah, this one could be considered a pivot right there. Um, no, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Um, I'm gonna take it out and then, yeah, this one here is a lower lower low um, um, that we can probably complete with this one as well and then moving down and then we are looking, I'm, I'm looking for a lower high I was saying lower low, so this, this one are lower highs and then uh, probably look if it doesn't go above this level then and, and it moved to the downside then we continue the downtrend uh, on the weekly so we'll see if it, what, what it goes the other the other um, thing that could happen is that uh, we can move to the upside right there and break that that uh, level of resistance here uh, for that what I would like to see is actually something um, that it's uh, you know we have lower highs or lo lower lower highs and lower lows but i would like to see a something like that right so um moving to the to the downside or to the upside above this uh, trend line here going above and then come back down make the last touch to this uh to this candle and then um and then move to the to the upside and then confirming moving above these levels here and if it forms another lower high moving up, uh, uh, above that one as well so that's the weekly um let's uh look at the um let's look at the um daily on the daily, actually, I'm a little bit more bullish in the short term. We are below this um, area here. And when in the in the long term, longer term, or like a swing trade, I I, I still we are doing we are seeing lower lows and lower highs um, up until this level here. So we see that formation right here, down, and then you have that that and then seems that it's moving to the upside already made a um a trend reversal breakout out there there is a doji uh in in this candle right here you see that that one is a doji and then a continuation try to break up uh above but it didn't and then you have some resistance in this uh, trend uh, line right there that uh, probably it's going to to bother a little bit the uh, the move to the upside and you have this um, opening day, day range there but momentum is moving to the upside you, you see here so I'm I'm bullish on this one actually I do have USOs uh, intermediate term um, for this one too and, and I'm trailing it trailing it up and uh, I think that I'd buy it around this area. I'm not very profitable yet, but uh, if it moves above at these levels at eighty-three dollars, um, that that could be a good uh, a good sign. My target uh, um, now is uh, first is the, the one twenty-seven, uh, and then uh, it's one sixty-one, and then the the two hundred. That would be my my ultimate goal. Uh, two or three months from now, we'll see we'll see so that one is the daily on cl and uh, for the last um, analysis what i'm gonna uh, give you is that uh, iwm iwm is the small caps um 
this one here is also very volatile you see that the that december hasn't been good sentiment on on uh, inflation for small companies um, or uh, for the small caps are is a uh, kind of bearish so uh, we are below the moving the moving average on, on the monthlies but also in the weeklies we are to uh, let me open it here so IWM you see that there's a a, um, a fib retracement all the way from here to there now we are we are threading we are in the range uh, we are in a range now formed by these two bottoms right here. So um, this one is a significant, um, um, significant uh, support. And then um, we are. This is a doji. So if it moves, if it continue moves to the downside, downside that is going to be a, a third uh, test. And if it fails, we we will see that, uh, or I see that um, you know this one can easily go to um, to levels of 2019. Um, so you have first level of resistance here of support here second level of support down there so um, and then in here you you do see that there is a pivot right there and another pivot right here um, that one and that one so um, we'll see how it behaves. I think that this one, this one, is still looks bearish to me. Um, you see, uh, if if we make the analysis again on the lower lows, you see that there's a that 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 try to break out this one, but it failed, and then made a similar low here started to go into a range this one is a signal that it was going to go into a range you know you did you failed to do a low a a a, 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 a lower low it made a, a a higher low but then it came back on, on to the to the same level so this is ranging and then we'll see how it does uh, how it goes here it seems that it wants to go to the downside unless it moves above these levels and continue in the range. But so far, um, I would bet for a a lower low um, or you know moving out of the range in the um, in the bearish side. And and why? And another another thing to consider um, is that this range here. You know you are coming from above so what what normally happens is that you know you you're coming this way you're coming that way and then you resolve in the same um, in the same uh, direction as uh, you previously um, enter into the range okay so yeah so uh, hopefully you like the video uh, remember to subscribe and uh and hit the like button and um hopefully you guys have a wonderful uh end of the year and a very successful 2023 thank you so much for watching